This is Kirkin. It's a giant hydroelectric station. Now, if my mother would be polite enough to turn the camera to this mountain here, that is where the hydroelectric power station is. Inside there, there's lots and lots of water. It's the reservoir is up there. So it just keeps on pumping it in there and then that falls down and then, and then it keeps on going and going and going. We are now walking up to the hydroelectric dam. Okay, bye. The potential of water, of that water, is going in hydroelectric station all the way down there. You can't see it. And it comes from a reservoir up there. And that creates electricity in the hydroelectric station. rainwater because it rains a lot in Scotland so it collects all of that rainwater and then the water goes down in the pipes and it, they're angled so it goes like, so fast so, so 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 fast so the water then hits the turbine like at supersonic speed and then that goes round and round and round and then it and then it goes into Loch Awe and then the reservoir collects some more rainwater, and so on, so on, so on. The, the, the water's potential energy behind the dam is very high, but when it goes down the pipe, then it turns all of that potential energy into kinetic energy. And when they turn it on, it's usually, I mean, they, they might have to turn it on at lunchtime, but mostly at dinner time and maybe, after dinner time when people like loads of adults in the world are watching movies when the kids are in bed. So how does the turbine turn all that kinetic energy into electricity? Well it all happens inside the mountain and all of it. Every single grain of dirt had to be dug out to do this. Welcome to Crookham Power Station. What you're seeing out the um, window there is our four generator sets. Number one's right down the far end, all the way through to number four this end. That little minibus ride we did, that was uh, one year and one day sort of work to do. In this part of the, uh, the film, they're basically plugging the holes they've just drilled with gelignite. When they get all the uh, gelignite in place, they just walk around the corner by about 200 yards, 200 metres, put a hanky over their mouth, wait for a blast and the wind and dust to come past them before they're straight back in, digging up all the spoil into the wagons, all the way around to the front door and just drop into the lot. So as you can see, there's no eyeglasses, no um, ear defenders, no masks or anything like that back in the 60s, and a, a horrendously noisy, dusty working conditions. I'm glad they drilled this place. Black ready. <laughs> So 
so when the water hits the turbine, it turns a rotor, which turns some magnets past copper wire. Now you can see I've got my copper 29 in here. Now, so we can see it's got two, eight, 18, and then the reason that it creates electricity is because every copper 29, which is normal copper basically, has one extra electric. They want to get rid of it. Now, the electron goes on to the next cover, but the electron of that cover has been knocked to the next one. And what do we call electrons moving? That's right, you guessed it, electricity. This is called electromagnetic induction. Big words, learn everything. So when it's the demand for electricity is low, like 12 o'clock at midnight, it's put in reverse and it and and the energy that pumps the water back up into the upper reservoir is it just uses it from ones that can't be turned off this is a renewable uh, fuel fuel and it's a hydro one because hydroelectric station <laughs> you can get it in the name so yes but there is loads of other ones, like can you see a wind turbine or a solar, uh, solar panels, trees, uh, let me this. tidal like the force of the tidal waves, waves just, you know, waves, waves. And then the bad ones. They're nuclear energy and fossil fuels. But I mean, when we say bad, we mean bad for us, generally, and also for our planet. In my next video, we're going to be looking on how bad the different sources of energy are.